Cerebral palsy is the most common physical disability of childhood. Yet, making a diagnosis of cerebral palsy isn't easy. There isn't a one-off test. Many parents of children with cerebral palsy have concerns about their child's development before cerebral palsy is formally diagnosed. Only a quarter of infants with cerebral palsy are currently diagnosed under six months of age. The average age of diagnosis of cerebral palsy in Australia has traditionally been between 12 to 24 months of age. Such a delay in the diagnosis of cerebral palsy can mean missed early treatment opportunities and support for children with cerebral palsy and their families. But new comprehensive guidelines give hope that in many cases, families can receive an earlier diagnosis of cerebral palsy, enabling early intervention and early support. This is changing the standard of care for children with cerebral palsy and their families across Australia. Three predictive tools now make it possible to detect the risk of cerebral palsy under six months of age. MRI of the child's brain. Standardized video assessment of a child's movements and a neurological examination. There is strong evidence that using these tools increases the accuracy of detecting the risk of cerebral palsy early. And there is emerging evidence that early intervention under six months of age harnesses the brain's neuroplasticity and improves physical and intellectual skills of children with cerebral palsy. An early diagnosis of cerebral palsy provides families with more opportunities for support. Every child and family deserves access to the new standard of care. A clinical diagnosis of cerebral palsy can and should be made as early as possible. Why wait? Go to cerebralpalsy.org.au now to read more about the 12 recommendations to support the early detection and diagnosis of cerebral palsy.